In today's video, we're gonna be at the Round Rock Premium Outlets in Texas, and I originally came here for a sneaker store that my friend was gonna go to, but I stumbled across Press Play, a Pokemon, and sort of just like a hobby store in general at the Outlet Mall, and they had so many Pokemon plushies in stock. Today, I'm gonna show you guys pretty much a little tour of the store because they had so much cool stuff, and uh, we also end up buying a bunch of booster packs as well. So if you wanna see what we end up pulling, from these foreign booster packs stick around to the end of the video check it out man they got so many plushies this is as much like quantity as plushies and i gotta say selection as as you have at like a Pokemon Center in Japan. They had so many plushies and even plushies for other games and other franchises and other animes out there too. They had the Animal Crossing as you saw earlier. They had some like uh, Sword Art Online stuff and they had, they just had so much, man. It was like a plushie heaven. So if you want a plushie, these are also good quality plushies too. I ended up buying one and it is straight from Japan. So really nice to get some high quality plushies here in America. They also had a video game section too, which was pretty cool. A bunch of older retro stuff for like the Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS, as you guys can see, even some PlayStation stuff. They also had a bunch of figurines as well. Here's a look at some of the Pokemon ones that they had. Some pretty decent selection, but honestly, when you compare it to the plushies, it is very, very scarce in comparison, but still pretty cool. Nonetheless, I always like to see cool foreign Japanese Pokemon action figures. They're usually higher quality than the Canadian American counterparts that you will find at like a Walmart or something like that. And then as we continue on, we have more and more plushies. This time, these are the more smaller ones, you could say. Uh, they're not gonna be as expensive. They're uh, very, very cute, very uh, easy to travel with. And uh, if you have like a collection that you have on display, these ones are very easy to display. Some of them are like built to sit and they just look really, really cool. And it's so funny to see some like small Pokemon like Puzzle and Minin and then you'll have bigger evolved Pokemon the same size. They also had a lot of cards as well so here's a look at their single selection and then they had a bunch of sealed Pokemon cards too and take a look man there's just so much selection such a beautiful sight I felt like a little kid in a candy store as you guys know how the saying goes. I of course was tempted you know I was very tempted but the Japanese stuff right here that you guys can see in Korean stuff too which is what really caught my eye the most I was like yo when am I gonna find these kinds of packs again? And I gotta say, the pricing here at Press Play was pretty reasonably priced. Like it wasn't insane compared to the stores I've seen in Toronto where they want like $10 for a Chinese or Korean version of battle styles. Like, bruh, come on, read the room, you know? This is it sometimes it's like it's kind of irks me what stores will charge for certain things. But here everything was pretty fairly priced, I gotta say. They even had some older stuff too, like XY Flashfire, which was really cool. Then you also have the Pikachu V Max figure collection from the celebrations bundle we have a bunch more of these so sort of like mystery boxes i know some people like to collect these as well we have like one in six chance to get a particular one and then you can try and chase the bundle and you can like combine them it looks really cool i'm a big fan of these now one thing that really caught me by surprise was this 35 us dollar Prima's official strategy guide for the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. It is so, so cool to see such an old thing in such an amazing condition. They, of course, had a bunch of other things that you need for card games like sleeves and binders. And they also had some other card games there too, like Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And oh my gosh, seeing the Yu-Gi-Oh! cards was pretty nostalgic for me too, even though they didn't have any singles. And they, of course, had some of the newer Digimon sets. So with that said, let's see what we bought. All right, so we are now back from the secret Pokemon shop at the outlets. And now it's time to show you guys all the Pokemon products we ended up buying. And of course, open up a bunch of them in this video. So stay tuned to the end because we are going to be giving away a bunch of the cards as well. First things first, we ended up buying a bunch of the brand new V-Star boxes I have been on the hunt for in America. It's been near impossible to find these. So we bought two of the Glaceon V-Star boxes. These are the uh, less popular of the two because it isn't as competitive as Leafeon, but we'll talk about that later. We also have the Leafeon V-Star boxes here as well, times two. We're not gonna be opening up any of these V-Star boxes in today's video. I'm actually gonna be doing a dedicated video for one of each box, and then we're gonna do a pack battle between the Glaceon box versus the, uh, the Leafeon V-Star box. So make sure you guys subscribe so you can see how these box openings go. And then in terms of individual packs we ended up buying, we got a uh, Japanese fusion strike set this is actually a korean oh no 
This is actually a Korean booster pack and it's the very first time I'll be opening up Korean cards on the channel. So very, very excited about that. This is another Korean booster pack we bought. This is the uh, Korean version of, I believe, Evolving Skies featuring the Rayquaza cards in it. So hopefully we can pull a Rayquaza here too. In terms of Japanese sets, we bought one of the uh, 25th anniversary. I've never opened up any of these on the channel yet. So hoping we can pull some heat out of this. We also have three booster packs in Japanese of the latest Pokemon set. This is basically the Japanese version of Brilliant Stars with the uh, beautiful Arceus on the front. Of course, celebrating Legends Arceus recently coming out. This is our grand finale booster pack. So stick around to the end. I paid 15 US dollars for this one pack alone. I believe it is called VMAX Climax. And it has a bunch of really cool like character rares. And uh, you can actually pull a God pack in this as well, potentially. Oh yeah, and how could I forget? I also picked up a Gengar plushie right here. I love Gengar. He's my favorite ghost Pokemon of all time. And it's a really, really high quality plushie straight from Japan. Check this boy out. You'll probably see this guy a whole bunch more in the future. So let's bust open a bunch of these foreign Pokemon packs and see what cards we're able to pull. And of course, stick around to the end of the video for the special giveaway. So here we are at the desk. We have the dedicated card cam right now. And let's just open up all of these foreign booster packs and see what heat we can pull. And uh, I plan to give away a bunch of these cards. So I'm probably gonna just keep like four or five of these and I'll give away a bunch of them to you guys in the comment section down below. All you have to do is comment down below how many different languages of cards do you have in your collection? Do you just collect English cards? Do you also collect Japanese cards, maybe Korean cards? There's a lot of languages out there. I know Pokemon makes a bunch of different cards for different languages and countries out there in the world. So comment down below what kind of languages and what other cards you have in your collection other than English or if you just collect English. For me, I currently just collect English and Japanese cards, but now we might be adding some Korean cards into the mix as well. So wish me luck. You guys see the pack order we're gonna do them in. So this is all we have for today day and I'm very very excited now I don't know about card tricks or anything like that for the Japanese sets so I hopefully uh hopefully we don't have to, to know that <laughs> we are just gonna go into this uh, blind and hopefully I don't damage the cards as I take them out of these packs the last time I opened up foreign packs uh, was it's been a minute I think Eevee heroes but if you guys haven't seen my Japan compilation vlog, check it out. I'll have it linked in the uh, pinned comment down below and in the description. And you guys can see all my vlogging adventures that are Pokemon related over the last eight Japan trips I've been on. So here we go. Here's the back. Even the back of the card is like a slightly different shade of blue from the looks of it. But here we go. We have a, uh, well, I'm not even going to try in front. I, I don't speak... Uh, I don't speak Korean, so I'm not going to be able to get all the names right. But we got Caterpie. I know that's a Caterpie. <laughs> I think that's a Helipatile. We got a uh, Fusion Strike Pokemon here. Ooh, and a Latias right there. Last but not least, that was it. All right, so I forgot that uh, foreign packs are typically smaller. So they're cheaper, but they have less cards and there's no code cards. So I'm curious if they have like an online client they play over there. Uh, but yeah, that's our first pack right there. A Fusion Strike, so I really don't need any of these cards. So we're gonna give all of these cards away. Next up, we have like the Evolving Skies equivalent, I believe. So let's see what we're able to get out of this bad boy. And I probably should get scissors, uh, but we're staying at my friend's house and I don't know where they keep the scissors. So I don't feel like hunting them down right now. So here we go. I think the last card will always be the, the hit. So I think that's how they have these cards set up. But it is cool seeing these Korean cards. Ooh, we got a, uh, I forgot her name already. Shoot, Bagon. I know Bagon. I might keep this one. The uh, Rainbow Aurora Energy. And a Hollow Rare Reggie something. Okay, we're gonna keep this just so I can have like one Hollow Korean card in my collection. But all these other cards will go to one lucky viewer today, one lucky subscriber. Next up, we have the three packs of, uh, of brilliant stars but in Japanese so let's see what we're able to get and let's see if we can pull any amazing like alternate arts there's so much stuff coming up uh, if you guys are looking to buy some Pokemon cards I of course have my own store sneaker talk tcg.com you guys can check out the products we have there right now and potentially some pre-orders but here we go a Luxio a cast form oh that is nice I love that an Empoleon holo rare and a, uh, a Clefairy in the back. So the card trick looks like it's the second last card from the back for that holo. So we're gonna try and do a card trick next time. But that is a nice, nice pull. Holo rare Japanese Empoleon. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's not destroy these cards, shall we? Let's take them out safely. And then we'll do the card trick. We'll do one last from the back. And I also love the, the back of Japanese cards. That is so sick. I love how it's like that cool effect or that cool pattern. 
that design. All right, here we go. A sock. Ooh, that is a cool art looking for the uh, the Duskull, I believe. What are these? <laughs> a Breloom and a... Ooh, nice! We got a ultra rare hit. We have a beautiful Raichu V. Look at that. I love the way they also do hollow foil patterns and stuff on Japanese cards. It looks really, really cool and uh, sometimes more premium than the English cards. I also just really love Japanese cards because typically uh, Japanese made products are higher quality in general. So they just feel, they feel different. They feel different. They're built differently. Let's get to our last pack now of uh, this set. And then we're going to do the 25th anniversary up next. So make sure you guys comment down below for the comment question of the day. If you have any other languages in your Pokemon card collection, we'll do the card trick, which is just switching out the last card. And here we go. We have a Magmar. Oh, I love that art. That art looks awesome. What the heck? That's awesome. I love that. We got a Spiritomb, a uh, Minchino, I believe. Ooh, a Weavile. And our last card is a Hollow Rare. Dusk Noir. Yeah, that's Dusk Noir, I believe. I love Dusk Noir too. He's right up there, very close to Gengar, but Gengar definitely beats uh, him in my like love, <laughs> my popularity chart. So nice. We're gonna keep that and put him down over there. Two packs left. Both of these are special sets. We have the 25th anniversary set and VMAX Climax. So let's see if we can get some heat out of this. And I wanna make sure I don't damage the cards. Uh, there's the rip. Yeah, there's the little, the, like, the Japanese, uh, like foreign packs, they have a little like slit there that you can just whoop, do that too. I don't know the card trick for this, so we're just gonna go into it blind. But here we go. Ooh, I like that hollow rare grass energy. That is gonna go into my leaf yawn deck when I build it. Okay, so a uh, hollow rare grass energy to start things off. We have a Soul Galeo, I believe. I love the silver border. I really, really like the silver border on the cards. It's really, really, really nice looking. Ooh, a uh, Cosmoem, I believe. And our last card maybe is... Oh, we got one more. Yeah, we got one more. This is a Cosmog and a... <laughs> That's awesome. Surfing Pikachu V in Japanese. You love to see it. On to the last booster pack, VMAX Climax. So here we go. Can we pull a God pack? Let's find out. And uh, let's not damage the cards, shall we? Ooh, we got fire energy to start things off. I can already tell. But I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped. I've never opened up this set before. So we are going to take our time a little bit. And hopefully, we got some heat inside. I think you're guaranteed an ultra rare in every hit or ultra rare in every pack. So that's why the packs are a bit more expensive as well. Because you're guaranteed at least some dope cards. Here we go. A fire energy to start things off. Ooh, not a god pack. We got a spirit tomb. I'm going to actually put that fire energy over there. We got a spirit tomb. We have a Dedene. Ooh, that's pretty cool art. I like that. I'll give this to my girlfriend, so I'm just gonna put that to the side over there. We got a cast form as well. Snowy form. The uh, double colorless energy. A level ball. Cool, cool. A uh, Clara, I believe. A, whoa, that is some sick art. I don't even know if this released in uh, in in Canada or like in English. This Hoopa art is phenomenal. I'm gonna keep this. And, oh, another hollow. Ooh, this is a, wow. This, I believe, is actually the Snorlax art they used for the uh, pre-release Build and Battle box kits for Vivid Voltage. So I don't know if they ever released them in, uh, in, in Japanese before, but I'm pretty sure this is the Vivid Voltage one. I might be wrong, but uh, yeah, that is our other hollow. So we got two hollows in the pack. That is really nice to see. And onto our last card, I think. <gasps> Let's go! Oh, there's another card. Ooh. We got a reverse hollow. Oh, look at that. The reverse hollow Jolteon is really, really cool looking. That is sick. That is sick. But yo, check it out. We got a Chonkachu. We got a thick boy right here. A Pikachu VMAX. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button for Gengar or else he's going to be left behind and he's going to hate me too. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.